keep going. We're not done yet. Just a little further. A family home. How charming. Who's the cowering little girl? Your daughter. How interesting. Not the daughter you wanted, though. A defect. Damaged. The same as her mother. I am getting sick of her public meltdowns. Why am I always being called out of work to deal with her, huh? From now on, you deal with her! Deal with her? When do you ever do that? She's your daughter, you jerk! You don't spend any time with her! She's autistic and needs attention from a loving father! You don't even give her the bare minimum! We both know she got it from you! You're the bipolar mess, and you passed it on to our kid! Are you happy? If I'd have known how messed up you were, I'd have never married you. Joke's on me, I guess. <laughs> Here we go again. Yep, that's all you ever say. Yeah, I know what you think of me. Sorry to ruin your life. All you really need is your money and your secretaries, right? <laughs> Here we go again. Why can't you just be normal? You pretend we don't even exist. Even if you hate me now, Tammy needs you, and all you care about is your stupid work. Tammy could drop dead, and you wouldn't even notice. What kind of man are you? you all I know is, you two are sucking the joy out of my life. Sick of it! I don't need this garbage every single day. Yeah, I know. You don't want to hear it. You just want to hear that nothing is wrong with you, and it's all my fault, right? <laughs> They really killed the joy in your life, didn't they? That must have been a terrible burden for you. the best family man. Not much of a secret. This is small potatoes. Where's the real meat? When are you going to deal with your wife? Look, I said I'd take care of it. She's an idiot. I will get her out of the picture one way or the other. Just trust me and be patient, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Your daughter is going to hate me though, right? That's going to be really awkward. Does she have to live with us? Uh-uh. Tammy is not the problem. Yeah, she's a messed up kid, but she won't get in the way. See, she's at that age where she doesn't like her mother all that much either. She'll side with me. I hope you're right. I'm getting tired of waiting for you to keep your word. Remember, you promised me. Oh yeah? Well, how's that new car treating you? Just like I promised, right? So, I meet you at 8 tonight. At <laughs> least thinks I'm going out of town for a conference for three days. Okay, but don't expect any monkey business in some hotel afterwards. You owe me a nice night out. Till death do you part, eh? So much for wedding vows. I can't say I blame you. They were all upgrades, weren't they? There's no shame in indulging yourself. You only live once.
Ah, now we're getting warmer. Doug Hauser. <laughs> How pathetic. So this is what you really look like. Quite the contrast. Your soul looks so much younger. Is that how you see yourself on the inside? Must be the narcissism. Nice blood ritual. Did you look that up online? Quite a desperate act. What motivated you to do it? Was it the cancer? Or something else? Something more painful, perhaps? Tell me, Doug. What's really eating away at your soul? Let's go deeper and take a look, shall we? <laughs> well now, this is more like it! Don't back away, Doug. Come closer. What's down there in the water, Doug? A car? Is that them? Is that your family? How tragic. But why would you feel regret for that? You hated them, didn't you? Accidents do happen. You can't blame yourself for that. How unless. Was it really an accident? Did you have something to do with it? Uh, what did you do? It's time to wake up, Tammy! Your dear father has come all this way to see you. Ah, there she is. Ooh, I can see why you were so disappointed, though. Not much to look at. Below average in almost every way. Call such a disappointing girl your daughter. After all, a man as great and accomplished as yourself deserves better. No, am I wrong? What do you think, Tell? You did this! Go give your daddy a big hug. I think he wants to tell you how sorry he is. <laughs> <Murderer! laughs> You're my puppet now, Mortal. And I've got a job for you. It's done. Just a little present for Beers. Go ahead and toss him back. Time for Beers to finally pay what is owed. What? You said I could eat him! You heard the boss hangry. Take out the garbage. Ah! Oh, all right. At least I got a bite. What a waste of good rib meat. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Bye-bye, Squishy! Yeah. Boss man says you gotta go, so... Adios! you are. How did you escape? You're a bit worse for wear, but you're still alive, and you have the ring piece. Oh, such a relief. I thought you were a goner. <laughs>
That would have made all this f Capable souls are hard to find, after all. I'd rather not waste my time waiting for another. Yes, that was a compliment. Don't get cocky. Time to feel sorry for yourself. Take a short breather and pull yourself together. The next nightmare awaits and time is running out. Time to feel sorry for yourself. Take a short... <laughs> what the? What's happening? The eye! What did you do? Did you miss me, Beers? You idiot! You let him in! Do you realize what you've done? Don't be so hard on the poor boy. I marked his mind. No, he resisted. But there was nothing he could do to stop it. You always knew this moment would come. Is that so? I guess I should thank you then. If I finish you off here, getting the rest of the ring pieces will be much easier. Even this fool won't mess that up. How naive! Even now, you really believe you have a chance. You think you can claim me, Malak? I'm not as powerless as I was before. You've always belonged to me, Beers. Nothing will change that. demon to be beaten and at my mercy for a change you think you're so clever and yet somehow I always win beaten by a mere mortal to think I was silly enough to fear you all this time the ring's power is even greater than I imagined <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about <laughs> <laughs> what trickery is this? What's the matter, Beers? Don't lose your confidence so quickly. It doesn't matter how many clones you make. I'll destroy them all. I'm too powerful to stop now, Malak. I've beaten you! <laughs> One more thing, Beers. Do you remember what I said before? I promised I'd be coming, and that I'd be bringing your worst nightmares with me. Well, I always keep my promises. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to see her again. Oh. <coughs> oh, does it hurt, Piercy? Should have stayed out of my room. Not sorry at all. Are you? Well, that's okay. An apology isn't going to save you. I'm gonna help Daddy tear you apart. Peace by peace. <laughs> It'll be fun. Oh, goody! That mean now that took all my friends is here too. Hiya! It was necessary. I had to do it. Ah, yes, and it was beautiful work. I enjoyed your little offering. Too bad you refused to know your place. Can I stab her face? Yes, yes. There'll be plenty of time for that. But first, let's get what we came for. Aww. 
Ah, good. All here. I'll be taking these back now. You filthy demon. Those are mine. He said you would be pieces. If you ever want to see them again, get up right now and stop him. <laughs> no! Those are mine! This is not over, Amalek. I won't let it end this way. Jeez, are you still whining? Shut up and die already! <laughs> you think you've won, Malak? You don't have them all. The one I took from you that day. What? How did you find that one? I will always have it. Be gone from this place! Be gone! <laughs> yeah. You're only delaying the inevitable peace. The outcome has not changed, and the ring pieces are coming with me. I'll be taking your little puppet as well. She can't interfere here. No more lucky breaks, mortal. Fate has finally caught up with you. Time for you to join your family. Permanently. <clears throat> Look around you. Do you even know where you truly are? You mortals have always believed in the existence of heaven and hell. It's a rather quaint and amusing concept. There is a dark dimension. All evil souls eventually gather there and wage war to become the ultimate evil. This place and my realm are a part of it. You've been meddling in my affairs all this time, but I am no ordinary demon. Over countless millennia, I have grown my and my power with the rivals that I have vanquished and the mortal souls that I have acquired. You could say business has been booming. Bierce was one of those souls. She never told you her little story, did she? A century ago, Bierce offered her soul to me. She wanted to be a movie star, a trite request, but I agreed nonetheless. I just required a tribute from her first, a small offering. <laughs> I gave Beers what she wanted, but when I came to collect, she decided to get cute. She thought she could get out of her contract by using that accursed ring. However, I didn't become an elite evil by letting my guard down. Her little ambush failed. I shattered the ring and took the pieces, but it wasn't enough. One of the pieces formed a bond with Bierce's soul. She used that to seal herself into that annoying little pocket dimension. As if that cage could keep me out forever. In this place, having your power and ring stolen by mortals is not a good look. You both made me appear weak and vulnerable. That's bad for business. Now it's time to pay the price. That's enough, Chicha. She's ready now. Let's get this execution started, shall we? I'm here. How sweet. You brought a new companion for my babies to play with? Yes, I have. Do they enjoy playing with mortals? Oh, yes. They'll be very excited. Oh yes, this one looks a bit weak though. Not very lively. They usually last longer if they have a little fight left in them. Lucky and his gang got a little carried away. Not that it matters, dear Malik. My babies always leave very little behind regardless. <sighs> I've told you not to call me that. You know I hate it. But I like it. This mortal soul will be a bit harder to destroy. His time is not up yet. I assume you can handle it. Take your time. 
and make an example out of him. As you command, dear Malik. Gather him up, my babies, and bring him inside. Put the mortal in the kitchen, for now. I have an urgent matter to attend to. Are the ring pieces secure here for now? Of course, dear Malik. They are quite safe here. Any last words? <laughs> No, it's not time yet. I will help you. I will escape. It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious! <laughs> it's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious!
There's a ring piece close by. This way. It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious! It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious! It's so... Is that really the best you can do? It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious!
watching you die was. Shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. Shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. Yet so... dead. Is that really the best you can do? <laughs> oh, so close, yet so...
bear hugs. Shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. Shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. Thank <laughs> you. 
shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious! It's all fun and games until Mama Bear eats your face. Then it's hilarious!
Is that really the best you can do? Well, 
shredded by a teddy bear. That's so... pathetic. Is that really the best you can do? Is that really the best you can do? Watching you die was Is that really the best you can do? Thank <laughs> you. 